This is a computer, okay? A computer that has been mistreated, neglected, and probably set on fire. And who did this? An uneducated student. So in order to save the school time and money, I'm going to give you five scenarios in which you get to see both the good, the bad, and the ugly ways to treat a computer. In order to, you know, educate ya. Scenario 1. So two kids are using computers. Kid A keeps his desk space clean of any food or drink. Kid B paints the keyboard orange with Cheeto dust. Kid A makes sure to always wash his hands before using a computer. Kid B knows that good Cheeto dust must never be wasted. Kid A, good. Kid B, ugly. Scenario two, okay? Persons A and B are in an art class. Person A remembers to always keep his area clean and free of art supplies. Person B takes no such precautions. Person A keeps his keyboard clean and shiny. Person B paints a flower on the side because it's pretty. Person A, uber good. Person B, bad, bad, bad. Scenario three, don't for the love of gump do this. I shouldn't even have to say it. Keep the keys on the computer. Scenario four. When walking down the hallway, person A holds his computer with both hands securely, like one would hold a baby. Person B holds the computer like Britney Spears would carry a baby loosely and without any care. Scenario five. Person A and B are both in the same class and are trying to get on the internet. They are having problems. Person A goes to the instructor and asks for help. Person B takes matters into his own hands. So in closing, here are some things we hope you've learned. One, always clean your hands when using a computer. Two, keep your work area free of food, drink, and art supplies. Three, hold your computer with two hands in the classroom and in the hallways. Four, leave the keys on the computer. Five, if you're ever having difficulties, ask someone for help. And by the way, always remember to plug it back in when you're done.